Hi everybody, sorry I can't be here today. Uh, I got this video right here to kind of show you what's going on uh, in class. So uh, watch this video, have your notes out, take great notes, uh, treat it just like I'm right here in front of you in class. I can't deny you the most important part of class. The first 10 minutes. Remember last class, we built the foundation. We built the foundation that we're going to learn all this stuff about the beach over the next three weeks. God, I'm telling you, this is going to be the biggest unit of the year. We got to make sure we learn this stuff as with it, we teach it. So here we go. Let's check our foundation. I'm going to you. You answer this question to yourself. Remember last class, we said what makes an Adarian and a Darian? The definition of a Darian is, pause the video, answer the question. Yes, a soft-bodied animal with stinging tentacles surrounding the mouth. That's what I got yourself. Yourself. Uh, we talked about that you have these stinging tentacles, these spring-loaded hollow darts. We said they are a name, and the name is... Nematocytes. Great. And then I got, hey, hey, that's you again. Hey, uh, then we said that they have a symbiotic relation with something. Something that gives it its color. What is it? Yes. Algae. And then we said, what does the algae give the nadarian? Besides its color, what does it give it? Good. Sugar. And then what does the algae get from the nadarian? Yes. Poop. And I'm going to go to yo. Yo. Then we talked about a mollusk. What makes a mollusk a mollusk? Good. A soft-bodied animal with a shell. <laughs> and then, yo, then we said that there's three types of mollusks. What are the three types? Bivalves, good. Gastropods, good. Cephalopods, good. And then bud, 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 bud. Then we said a crustacean. The definition of a crustacean is... A soft-bodied animal with an exoskeleton made of chitin. <laughs> exactly. Homie, it's you. Echoderms are echoderms because... You're right. They don't move by two feet. They move by tuba feet. Oh, twin, 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 twin. We had some words. Like, we talked about reproducing. And if you just... In the water... <laughs> you know you just release a lot of eggs and gook and pucky. It's called... Broadcast spawning. Uh, what if you just rip yourself apart? Vision. Ah, uh, what if you eat decayed matter? <laughs> Did try to see her. That's great. And then I got the most special person in the world. Me and you. I'm going to talk. Today, anatomy day. <laughs> it's all about anatomies. So here we go. We got our notes. What do we have to do the most important person in the world? Ah, we got to do these bullets. And the first one is good. Well, and then, 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 what type of animal are they? Exactly. They're Nadarian. Now, most important person in the world. There's a blank bullet next, right? Listen to this. How about this? Let's write it and then let me explain. As adults in the polyp stage, <laughs> most important person in the world. Does this make any sense? No. The most important person in the world. Nadarians, they have two life stages. Uh, one where their tentacles are hanging down below their mouth, and one where the tentacles are above their mouth. Do it, most important person in the world. Uh, draw it. Uh, see, uh, there's one uh, where their tentacles are hanging below their mouth. That's called the Medusa stage. And then one where the tentacles are above their mouth. And that's called the polyp stage.
All right, most important person in the world, please explain this bullet to the class. As adults, they're in the polyp stage. <laughs> they're like this as an adult. I see it, I mean, it's just sitting there with its tentacles above its mouth. But most important per, uh, person in the world, what does that mean about a baby? See, anatomy. See, Nadarians have two life stages. If they're in this stage as an adult, what is the baby like? Yes, the baby is like this. A baby sea anatomy is swimming around like a little jellyfish. And it's acting like a little jellyfish. And then when it finds a good place to live, it's going to flip itself over. Ugh. And now its tentacles are above its mouth in the polyp stage most important person in the world. What about a jellyfish? As an adult, they're in the Medusa stage. But what does that mean about a baby jellyfish? Yeah, as a baby, they're in the polyp. They sit on a rock. They're acting like a sea anemone. They're stinging stuff. They're eating stuff. And then they get off the rock. They flip over. And then they're a little squishy, swimming around in the Medusa stage. Most important person in the world, you're doing great. Most important person in the world, we got two more bullets. Eat. Eat. Well, most important person in the world, I'll get one. <laughs> I got a, got a seat in enemy right here. What do you think, most important person in the world? What does this thing eat? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Maybe. Now, most important person in the world. <sighs> Always have big dreams, most important person in the world. Maybe I'll try to do this next class. How about next class? I have some of these, like, on a rock and in a beaker. Most important person in the world, hopefully... Well, what happens? They set out their tentacles like this, and they're just waiting for food to come by. And then food comes by, it's going to stab it uh, with its nomadocytes, its stinging cells. And then it's going to like bring it into its mouth, which is going to be right here in the middle. Mm. I'm going to eat it. So, most important person in the world, well, what do you think this thing eats? Yeah, I mean it's not that big, is it? Got it. I got it off my hands. Most important person in the world said zooplankton. Comma. You know, this is a small sea anemone. What if it was a bigger sea anemone? Do you think it could? Yeah, maybe. It might be able to eat a fish. Most important person in the world. You know, I've been doing this for a while. And it's been a while since uh, Ramon. Ramon, for his project, he went down to Edmonds on a really good low tide. He went underneath the pier at Edmonds. And you know what he saw? He saw an anemone that was, it was, it was this big. And you know what it was eating? Mm-hmm, a fish. And how big was the fish? It was like three times the body size of the anemone. That fish got too close to the mouth size. Good, good, good. It stung it. It killed it. I was pulling it in and was eating it. How much of that fish was inside of its body? Well, Mom took a picture of it, and it was only the head was in the body. And there was about this much of the fish just hanging out. How long would it take that anemone to eat that fish? Probably. Probably like three months. Yeah, I know. Hey, this is what I want you to do. I want you to pause this video... And then I have another video. Uh, it's this one right here. I got this video. It's, uh, it's this one right here. It has an enemy eats a fish. I, I want you to pause this video. I, I want you to open up that video. And then, as you open up that video, I want you to think about a question.